Hello everyone! Welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 15 of Bannerlord, our replay. Whoa! We got here just in time! Okay, so uh, in the last episode, I recorded that yesterday, but uh, I couldn't upload it. Uh, my Wi-Fi is acting up. And we took over Omar. And look at them. The uh, Northern Empire is has sent an army to take over this one. Oh, who are they fighting with? So... The Sturgeons, maybe? And the Crusades. Okay. So we do have a chance. That, oh, so the Crusades took over Sibir. And very likely, the Sturgeons are trying to take over Balgard too. Whoa. And, and that's the reason why I think they weren't able to pay attention to Omor. And that's why it rebelled. Whoa. Wow, they've taken a lot of properties. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, what we need to do though is we need to, uh, I think, manage. The, uh, go to the keep. See, in, in our town, uh, the loyalty is declining by four percentage points every turn, despite the fact that we have uh, the festivals and games going on. So if we look at the loyalty, it shows that the owner culture is minus three. Fair and uh, festival and games offset that, so that's break even. Fairgrounds is already level two, so it's contributing one. Bound village issue security is a problem, and then we have loyalty drift of four. Okay, so the security issue, I think we can go hire some local guys. Let's just hire some local guys, right? L2. Done. Yes. And we can go to the keep. Let's just dump all of these guys into the dungeon. The other problem, though, is that if we have a lot of people in the dungeon, then we have food issues. I mean, they're currently, they are starving. Uh, I think, uh, are there any people we want to level up? I mean, cavalry. Outdoor, no. Uh, sturgeon soldier. Um, Imperial Infantrymen, Imperial Veteran Infantrymen, Trained Infantrymen, Sturgeon Warriors. See, what I want to do is uh, reduce the number of Banner Knights here. So we have 148. I think that should be uh, hefty enough. And we use our infantrymen. I mean... We'll have them, because uh, we can train them up by, since we are going to take down the rebels. Vigla recruits. Sturgeon soldier. 
So we have 184 people. So this is how many, that's 10, 16, 18, So 34 uh, foot soldiers. Okay. I think that should be... Wait, why are we going so slow? Right? It shows uh, shows that... You know what? Let's, let's not mo do this. Yeah. I think this Viglas will just die if we No, they're they're just decorations. No, no, yeah, okay. I think 162 Why is our speed still so low? Uh Unless I think we have we are overloaded or something. Yes, okay, we're overloaded. Okay, and... Um, okay, temporarily... Um, man. Okay, let's uh, get rid of the wood. That is a big component. Yep. We have charcoal anyway, so... I guess that's it, right? So our speed is now at 4.6. Why is it only 4.6? Uh, oh, are we? Do we have too many horses? 170. Okay, I guess... Okay, uh, then let us check um, on the town because we have, so security is now plus two. So this would eliminate security as one of the issues here is 0 0.75. So that should go away. So that means the, the drop in loyalty should be down to three. And then we also gave them food uh, where's food? Food is minus 33. But we just gave them food, so that should be okay. And uh, let's put in s some cash here. Hopefully... Uh, yeah, we are in festival and games. So that's how we have to kind of pacify our opponent, uh, the uh, restless population. So there are two guys left here. So we are, if we look at uh, the kingdoms, we can check on the clans, and then it will set, it will tell us uh, enemy. See the Omer rebels. It will show us how many people are there. Uh, so is this guy dead? I have no idea. So it's these two guys, right? Lorik and Yurik. Who is this guy? Uh, Lorik and this is Yurik. Durma, no. So one of them is is still uh, alive and running around. Come on, move it! Move it! Jeez. We're still suffering from the um, conquest or the fighting. Stop there. Surrender or die. Yield or fight. Attack. 
because this part both parties are big enough to ravage our town our settlements or our villages and so we need to take them out if not they will be constantly harassing our settlements and our what do you call this um omar will always have a security issue and if we have security issue everything impacts uh uh, loyalty of the town it makes sense right if you have security issues food issues um, uh, your yeah, your settlement are suffering or are being burned it, it's all problematic so we, we need to solve those okay Cut them down! Yeah, they're up on that hill, right? Inside you dummies. No, that was a friendly fire, dummy. Let's get a better angle. How about uh, are there runners? They clumped up there in the center. How come there are no runners? They're all clumped up. Oh, it's against Dumat. Heavy spearmen. Okay, no, pro no wonder. Uh, those guys are pretty tough. So this would have been a great opportunity to train up our middle tier fighters, but uh, we don't have access to those guys. Did we left all of them in Leg Lageta? So that's one guy. You are my prisoner now. Uh, these are our prisoners. Okay, let's take all of them. This guy did not improve. Ouch, we are overloaded again. Uh, I think we have to come back here, right? This guy is hoofing it. Okay, let us save this. And, um, yeah, every time we, we win, at the same time, you know, we have to keep our very close eye on Omar going forward because, uh, Okay, did we level up in terms of 
Oh, we got one. Yeah, we don't know what to do with that point. Uh, these are all the things we have worked on. Um, you know what? These are things I think we, I should go over these things because some of them, uh, I think scouting gives us also like a plus, uh, plus five to, I mean, to our party size. And, um, well, who's this one? Oh, Sora. Wow, a lot of people has actually leveled up. Okay, uh, Talimund. Uh, four percent combat movement speed, four percent movement speed to infantry in your formation. Uh, minus ten damage to your shields. Uh, ten damage to shields of troops in your formation. I think combat speed is better, right? If if we have it on here, and we meet him in the tournament, he is going to be a problem because we don't have. He will have a shield while our shield is done for. Uh, conversely, I think infantry in our formation is good in the sense that when we are storming a castle, it, we need that better. 10% damage to shields of troops in your minus 10 damage. I think this is better, yeah. Not for Taliban, but for in case he is in a party or something, or we we have him running a party. Why are you using two-handed? Why did this go up? Ten percent handling to two-handed weapons. Uh, Thirty percent damage to shields with two-handed weapons. I think handling is better. Oh, he will be a beast when we meet with him, against him in uh, in a tournament with a two-handed weapon. <laughs> we'll, we will be three combat, three percent combat move. Okay, no, no, we we go for hit points. Hit points. Hit points is always better. Uh, Beniseth. Uh, okay. We... Oh, she does not have... We don't care about her. Uh, we should put something here, right? But no, let's put it here first. Uh, we are more concerned with, uh, mining. That's where, uh, smithing. That's where our... We make our money. And we will put it into endurance. Wow, cool, cool. And she is leveled. Oh, she's already level 12. Okay. Uh, okay. Wow, she's so high in writing. And uh, who's this one? Said the Scholar. 50% uh, charge damage taken minus personal and captain or 30% damage bonus from speed while on foot 30% damage bonus from speed while on foot so this is for infantry so let's take minus 10 50 charge damage taken So that it doesn't say whether they be on foot or on horseback, right? So yeah, that means uh, he will, and he, since uh, he is our uh, what do you call it, healer, yeah, we need to give him as much. Uh, okay, I think we always go with as much uh, protection as possible. Thirty percent accuracy. 
Nathanos. Wow, this our brother is a beast. Uh, ten percent hit point regeneration while waiting in settlements. Ten percent daily experience to foot troops. No. Ten hit point regeneration while traveling. Yes, while traveling. We're always traveling. And three daily experience on to foot troops while traveling. Oh, if he is a party leader. Uh, if in case we make him a party leader and he has plus one here So we can oh He's level 28 uh, We're going to get his smithing even higher by putting one more point in here Yes uh, He has two extra points I don't know where to put them. Face us. Okay, riding. 20 hit points to your mount. 10 hit points to mounts of troops in your formation. Yes. Okay, that has always been uh, where we, what we go for. Ouch, he's got one point here. Uh, he's only level 8. Should we put it into one-handed? Or bows? I think one-handed. Put into vigor? So his one-handed is, and then one point here. Then once he gets another vigor, we can put it into control. I don't know if we want to turn him into a steward or something. That's still f very... F oh, this guy has three. Alea, our, our sister. 2% swing speed with one-handed weapon. Definitely that one. And in horses. Twenty carry capacity as a party leader. Not really you know, it's not yeah. Fifteen percent less armor weight, ten percent weapon handling while on foot. Oh, she's going to be a beast when we meet her up, uh, when we meet up against her uh, in a, um, in the tournament. <laughs> Our own sister. It's been a while. Okay, attack. Ooh. I think uh, further down we will be on leadership once uh, I think we can either pick either one extra companion or one um, extra party Attack! I think we will go with the extra party so that that means we will have I think a party Four, including ourselves, will will now become a party of five. Wait, this time.
Will that guy still survive? We don't have a really good cutting weapon now. Look at, <laughs> we even have a uh, something sticking up on our arm. I gotta go practice more on looters. I'm doing such a terrible job here. I think it's the uh, army head. Okay, I hope that is the end of the Omor Rebels. If we got all three, that would be the end. Woodsman, Brigand, Warrior, oh, no more, too much, too many, okay, uh, are there any, so we got Lorik, and who else, no, we want to get rid of the Hunter, we want to get rid of the low, oh, Recruits, Right, and then we can take these guys. They're worth more money. Oop, recruits, recruits, recruits. Okay. Uh, I thought we talked. Oh, we took two prisoners. Did the other one escape again? Okay, our timer went off. So I guess this would be your relation, uh, Bunny Seth. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you join me in the next episode. Bye!